Duration tells investors the length of time in years that it will take a bond's cash flows to repay the investor the price he or she paid for the bond. A bond's duration tells us how much a bond's price might change when interest rates change. A higher duration number means a bond's price is more sensitive to interest rate changes, while a lower duration number means a bond's price is less sensitive to interest rate changes. This means that the price of a bond with a duration of 5 will increase or decrease by 5% when interest rates move by 1%. A bond's duration depends on its interest rate, call features, yield, credit quality, and maturity. The shorter the bond term, the lower the duration, and vice versa. Also, the lower the coupon, the higher the duration, and vice versa. Christine has a bond with a 10-year maturity, a 0.15% yield to maturity, a 2.25% annual rate, a $1,000 par value, and quarterly coupon payments. Its duration is 9.1. Michael has a similar bond with a 30-year maturity, a 0.35% yield to maturity, a 4.25% annual rate, a $1,000 par value, and quarterly coupon payments. Its duration is 15.32. Suppose the Federal Reserve announces changes in its interest rate policy and interest rates increase. Christine's bond will decrease in value, but Michael's bond will experience a bigger decrease because of its higher duration. Similarly, if interest rates were to decrease, Michael's bond would gain more value than Christine's, again because of its higher duration. Duration is just one factor that affects a bond's value. Inflation risk, default risk, and call risk are also important. But duration tells investors like Christine and Michael how much risk they face from interest rate changes.